Libby and I'm going to read The Park in the Dark by Martin Waddell and Barbara Firth. Look, and here we have a small town or a small village. I think our characters might be in this house. The Park in the Dark. Someone's asleep, but look at the toys. When the sun goes down and the moon comes up and the old swing creaks in the dark, that's when we go to the park. Me and Loopy and Little G, all three. Softly down the staircase, through the haunty hall, trying to look small. Me and Loopy and Little G, we three. Look at all the coats on the wall. There's the umbrella. It's shivery out in the dark, on our way to the park, down the dustbin alley, past the ruined mill, so still, just me and Loopy and little G, just three. Look at the mice or the rats. There's a big cat up on the garbage bin. And there's lots of rubbish bin. And little G doesn't like it. He's scared of the things he might see in the park in the dark with Loopy and me. That's me and Loopy and Little G, the three. There might be moon witches or man-eating trees or withers that wobble or old scrawny shins or hairy hobgoblins or black boggart sneeze in the trees or things we can't see. Me and Loopy and Little G, all three. I think Little G's scared of all these things. Look at the faces on the trees and that big bird and all the eyes in the plants. Maybe it is a bit scary. But there's not, says Loopy, and I agree. And Little G gets up on my back and we pass the howl tree, me and Loopy and Little G. We're heroes, we three. In the park, in the dark, by the lake and the bridge, that's when we see where we want to be, me and Loopy and Little G. Whoopee! I think they want to go there. Let's have a look. <gasps> yes! And we swing and we slide and we dance and we jump and we chase all over the place. Me and Loopy and Little G, the big three. the stair 
to the bed where we ought to be. Me and Loopy and Little G, safe as can be, all three. And there we are, back safe at home. That's the end of the story.